The targets of the investigation were linked to pervasive drug dealing of cocaine and heroin in this violence-torn 800 block area, which is also known as the Back Maryland Avenue section of Atlantic City. Beginning early this morning, approximately 75 members of the Violent Crime Task Force were deployed in tactical teams to arrest the targets of this investigation. A total of 14 targets were arrested earlier this morning. Seven men were previously arrested, and the remaining seven are being sought on warrants. Investigators seized three handguns and a shotgun during the investigation, as well as significant quantities of heroin and cocaine. The reason we targeted the 800 block gang is simple. They represent a major threat to the safety of the people of Atlantic City and a major detriment to the quality of life in the city. They call themselves the 800 block gang, but they don't confine their drug dealing and violence to one block or even one section of Atlantic City. Instead, they are, dri they are a driving force behind a majority of the gang-related shootings and homicides plaguing the city, along with the rival Dirty Block Gang, which is based in the Stanley Holmes Village. We formed the Violent Crime Task Force for operations like this one, which pr pr protect the people, people of Atlantic City by taking violent gang members off the street. The investigation involved the cooperative work of all the partners in the Atlantic City Crime Task Force, the New Jersey Division of Criminal Justice, the New Jersey State Police, the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office, the Atlantic City Police Department, the Atlantic County Sheriff's Office, and the New Jersey State Parole Board. The investigation commenced with undercover police officers making cocaine purchases in the 800 block area. Additional means of investigation were used to further penetrate the area, including various types of surveillance. Over the course of the investigation, members of the task force were able to make purchases of narcotics deep within the confines of the gang's turf, which is very difficult to infiltrate. As evidence of the effectiveness of our investigators, the task force was able to foil an alleged plot by one gang member, Sean Pettis, to murder another man at a hotel outside Atlantic City, further evidence of these gang members' violent tendencies. Pettis is a reputed high-ranking member of the Anna Block gang who allegedly deals in large volumes of heroin and cocaine. He was arrested on February 6th after the task force uncovered information about the alleged murder plot. Before his arrest, Pettis allegedly purchased the stolen 380 caliber handgun that he intended to use to commit the murder. Acting on information from the task force, officers of the Epsecan Police Department stopped the car in which Pettis was a passenger and allegedly found the loaded gun in his waistband. Pettis is charged with first degree conspiracy to commit murder, second degree weapons offenses, and second degree distribution of cocaine and heroin. The investigation also led to the arrest of Razak Shannon, who is charged with first degree murder. Shannon is charged with fatally shooting Kristen Hargrove, age 21, in the head in the 800 block of North Virginia Avenue on July 8, 2012. Shannon faces a potential sentence of life in prison, including 30 years of parole ineligibility. Three other men who are alleged high volume drug dealers within the 800 block gang face first degree charges of distribution of cocaine. They are Asmar Coley, Sean Williams, and Lawrence Rooks. Pettis and those three men would each face 10 to 20 years in state prison if, if convicted of the first degree charges against them. Most of the other defendants face second or third degree charges of dis distributing cocaine or heroin or, in one instance, prescription painkillers. Second degree charges carry a sentence of 5 to 10 years in prison and third degree charges carry a sentence of 3 to 5 years in prison. Razak Shannon is being held on $1 million cash bail and Sean Pettis on $750,000 cash bail. The other defendants have, have bail set at $330,000 or less. Crime task force was more than 20 months ago. Since its inception, the task force has made more than 400 arrests and seized over 50 guns along with large quantities of narcotics. We know, and the residents of Atlantic City know, that where there is drug dealing, there will also be violence. Through the operations such as this one, we are working to take drug dealers off the streets and reduce the violence plaguing the city. We are committed at the state level to working with Chief Jubilee, Prosecutor McLean, and Sheriff Ballas to address the problem of violence in Atlantic City. Governor Christie is determined to, take this, to turn the city around economically and make it a safe place to live.